is Mark here, Cali Crossbows, doing the Adarini crossbow and slingbow head to head tonight, as promised. First, we're going to do the comparison of the overall view and the feel of them. Technically, they, they're very similar. But first of all, I'm going to bring it on the table now, as you can take a look at them side by side. Okay, so as you look at the, the two Adarinis now, the left being the slingbow and the right being the crossbow. Going to come in a little bit. Now, physically, from the frame downwards, uh, they're identical. And the magazine, identical. The only general difference being is the limbs assembly and the um, the riser assembly. But as we turn the side here, now we can see more. Uh, the handle, the rear of the body is, is exactly the same. It, it's physically um, identical. So we can bring this here now. Um, you can see some of the the differences in the two designs. So the handle and the body being uh, virtually identical. This course being the, the button for the laser. So we're going to look at them one by one and then have a head to head shoot. First thing we're going to have a look at the Adarini sling bolt. The one thing I will say is a nicer feel in the hand is a much better feel because of the balance there's no weight out the front and um, there is a really nice balance to the Adarini pistol and um, the grip is identical um, it's from the same molding so as you expect it's exactly the same um, trigger aesthetics we'll come into a little bit later but for general balance hold it on target you can see I'm right handed but my, ma my master eyes my left eye I can use my right eye, but I prefer my left. So, okay, now, with the Adarini crossbow, she is a bit nose heavy. I know I've got the weight of the hollow sight on the back, but held out, I'm gonna come back a little bit, as you can see. But held out is a much, is slightly no, nose heavy, which I'd say actually does help a little bit with the balance because it does make you want to pull a little bit more on it. So I just try that again with a sling bow. No, no, I stick with my original thought. There's, there's a nicer balance to the sling bow than the crossbow version. Okay. Next up, we're looking at loading the magazine. Now, first of all, this is again, this is down to the print in the making. So, there's a beautiful release on the magazine on the Slingbow version. Bolt style, the bolt's going in mine. Nice fit, I only got fit three. So, we're using my bolts. Lock, lock the limbs in place. Okay, that's limbs locked in. I haven't tightened the screws down, so I'll find it. Okay, let's try with loading the Adrini crossbow. A little bit tighter, because it hasn't been used yet. I've only fired six shots through it. As expected, um, loading is exactly the same on the Adarini crossbow as the Adarini pistol. Let's try and cycle a first shot. Okay, that's nice. Now we should bring it back up. Decop. It's working nice. Let's try it with the sling bolt. Okay, it's working nice. Holding with your pinky. 
and decock. No damage, no marking on the uh, the bow. So a nice smooth clean operation from both the, the crossbow magazine and the sling bow magazine. Okay, now I was going to do a comparison on the sights, but I won't be able to do that because the Adderini pistol, sling bow, is fitted with standard open sights, whereas on the, the crossbow, I've got my uh, hollow sight. So I think the next thing we're going to look at is trigger operation, okay? Um, not interested about grouping just yet because you can't compare apples with pears. Shooting with a, a hollow sight compared to open sights, you can't compare the two, it's totally different. It's like, com it's like comparing a laser with a dart at the target. It's just no comparison. Okay, so we're just gonna look at operation now and um, the trigger I feel, and see how the two compare. Okay guys, we're with the Adderini Slingbow now. We're at my international firing position as recommended by His Majesty Jorg of Sprav. The target is the designated Sprav 10 meters for using an internal defense um, target, okay? So you have three shots with the Adderini now. Um, and we're just gonna feel through the shot, you're gonna go for a trigger release, feel, recoil, those kind of things to see how she behaves on target. And onto the uh, Adderini crossbow. Hey guys, we were the crossbow now. I don't think it's gonna go. It's the first time I use it with my bolts. Um, might be success, might be not. So let's see what happens. Okay, now it's it is a, a, a more weighty feel on the lever when you cock it. And it's definitely as you knew a bigger thunk on target. It, it really whacks it home. Yeah, definitely more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, we're down at the end of my international firing range. Um, I hope you greatly approve. I do. And um, we're gonna have a look here now. The bottom three. These three here. Bum bum bum. These are from the Adderini. The top three. Bum bum bum. These are from the crossbow. Now let's have a look here. See if we can get an angle on this, is it, guys? We'll come up from underneath. See if we can get an angle from underneath. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a tape measure, I'll be back. Okay, now. guys, we're back on target. And today, measuring it is provided by um, Team Zippo and uh, from a 1980s Zippo tape measure. So let's have a look here now. Let's have a look at the overall length of what's going in so this one is nine inch six inches proud five and three quarter inches proud five and three quarters five and a half five and a half five and a half so there's definitely a difference between the Adderini crossbow and the Adderini pistol they are both rated at around about 55 pounds you see how easy these come out now the bolts he's easing a little bit more that one so let's have a look at these tips first okay bring in the camera no damage to the tip no damage to the bolts same again. Where's the camera gone? No damage to the tip. People say the, the alloys always damage on uh, the targets, not mine. As I've shown in many videos, you guys looking. No damage to the tip. No damage to the uh, the knock. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's look at the the crossbow. Crossbow fired bolts. Much deeper in. About half, half a deep again. 
Okay, see we got not no damage to the tips. Straight so into uh, hardboard, chipboard. No damage. Damage free. As we back at mission control, what's my conclusion at this? Right, okay. The Adrenaline Slingbow is much nicer to use. Um, the way the, the power is delivered, it gives smoother acceleration, less recoil in the hand, um, and not because of the, uh, the rubber band system. As how the rubber band accelerates, um, it gives a, a much smoother push to the, um, the bolt. Um, is a much nicer feel on a trigger. Um, and I think these are excellent for younger shooters or someone learning to shoot new. Okay. Um, I would say they make a, an adequate soft defense weapon. Uh, shit, it's the fan. You're home alone. You're in the middle of Antarctica and you've got some lunatic coming in with it. With it. Is a doodah hanging out and carrying a baseball bat. Would I use it? You bet your ass I would. Crossbow version. Pros and cons. Okay. This is an absolute um, different animal altogether. The power delivery is with much more of a kick as the bows snap back in place and forward. Um, I would say the, the string is easier to change on the sling bow than on the crossbow. The reason being is on the sling bow, if the, the rubbers break, you can just quite simply release the tension, bring the limbs back, change your cable tie, change your string, change your rubber, change your cable ties, um, whatever needs to be done. Whereas on the crossbow version, um, you've got to be neat to monitor in regular your string weight, like all crossbows, so this isn't just unique to the Adderini, anything um, with a string, you got to monitor your string closely. Yes, the um, the Adderini does have a string, but the string I'm using on my Adderini is uh, Dynamax, and a really nice string for um, it's used for uh, sailing, for spinnakers, for ropes, for hoisting your main brace. Who are we arties? And all that sort of shenanigan. So it is used to take a massive string. Your standard bowstring, which is on you. Um, this is a Mang Kung bowstring. Um, it needs to be lubricated regular. I would say every 15 to 20 shots. I know I had 10 shots on this. So I have seen a little bit of a way. But again, the system is wearing in. It's, uh, it's um, given a choice between the two, I think I would go for the crossbow before the pistol version, although the crossbow is more expensive. The reason being you've got to obviously pay the extra for the limb, limb tips, uh, the extra nut and bolt inside, string. Um, the Adderini is more compact, and the Adderini sling bow is more compact, I think better for home defense in the fact that you can keep it close to your chest, if you're sliding down a wall and taking a quick shot. It is quieter in operation. Whether this is because of the extra strain on the mechanism from the bow, I do not know. I have not looked that far into it. However, the Adderini is much smooth. Uh, Adderini sling bow is much smoother, much quieter, has a nicer trigger, is a more predictable release. Um, and for me, I, th I think if I was using it for a close range home defense, I would go for the Adderini sling bow before the crossbow. Again, though, an alternative to that, the crossbow is more reliable. As long as you keep your, your string well lubricated and you, and you watch your string um, and keep everything up, up to shape, the, the crossbow version is more reliable. Okay, so I'm gonna just gonna have a, a, a quick look, go with my thoughts, have a cup of coffee, and I'll give you my, my final thoughts um, on which one I would go for, given my own choice, my own money, which it is my own money. Okay, right. Back in five. Okay, guys, then. Right. Thoughts. It's a tough one. It is hard to choose between two. They both got their, their pros and cons. 
the sling bow does have a sweeter trigger to it. Um, I think it's smoother and nicer in operation. It could just be the way I've put it together and helping the smoothness of the operation. But I, for, for me, I do actually prefer using the, the sling bow to the crossbow. The crossbow, um, it feels more positive on target because it's slightly nose heavy, like a, a real firearm, and you've got more weight in it, especially with the hollow sight, metal hollow sight on top as well, um, which gives you, to me, for longer range accuracy, better balance, um, bet, and better use. I would, pers I would personally, if I was in a, a block of flats, somewhere in Chicago, because you can't use a crossbow for self-defense in UK. So if I was in a block of flats in Chicago, um, I would personally use the, the Adorini sling bow. Because you, you imagine if you're inside a block of flats, um, you're in your flat, very short range, less than 20 feet. This is more than adequate to take down what's in front of you. If you was in somewhere like Chicago, where it's legal to have something like a sling bow or a crossbow. Not in the UK, because you can't use it use for self-defense, that would be illegal. Um, this, I think, is a bit more bulky. Um, so if you was in a house, say, uh, a little bit larger, you've got more range, I would use this. So if you were in a block of flats or something like that, I would definitely go for the Adarini first, the sling bow, before the crossbow. Okay, so that's my, my, my order preference, what I feel. Right, I'm going to throw a third ring into the mix. And this is my special, my Mang Kung Steamboat, um, with they are stock. Um, I think it is a better machine altogether than either the Adarinis. However, this is nearly double the price. This is nearly £500 worth of custom crossbow. Um, so it's down to you what you want to use it for and what your style is. If you're, if you're more used to your pistol shooting, which I used to be before they changed all the laws in this country, um, I think this is a great device, um, a great tool for keeping your eye in and practicing um, with pistol um, with a multi shot because multi shot air pistols like the Uram X Beretta 92FS, um, six, sub six of pounds, three and a half foot pounds, um, they're okay for plinking. This has got yumph behind it, which the Uram X isn't. Um, same again with the crossbow version, this feels a lot meatier in the hand because of the extra weight. Um, so if I was using, going to be using it for garden use. I would use this. I would go for the crossbow version over the slingbow version. Um, for the reason being, with the slingbow version, um, unless it's kept in the dark, the rubbers can perish. Um, if you want quick use, leave your front locking caps untight as you can just quickly lock them in place, you're good to go. So left in your bedside drawer, which is perfectly legal in the UK to leave it in your bedside drawer, um, and the magazine unloaded, um, that's perfectly legal. So it's just a matter of flipping it up, dropping your bolts in, knock knock, who's there, good night. Um, with this, um, I would definitely use this more for um, target work, longer range for this, especially with a hollow sight. You could even go for both horses for courses. Um, and then again, going back to the steamboat, um, Steve something like this, um, you've still got the same shot capability, um, much more stable on target, longer range, um, and a lot more expensive, especially with the, oh, the 90 pound pro prod on there, um, custom body, custom trigger, custom stock, um, the custom magazine, everything about this is custom. Just press pause. The only thing which is original on my, Steamboat Alligator is the frame. That's the only thing original. That's the original trigger. That's gone as custom. Um, this has been modified to take the stock. This has been modified to take the extra bowling. This will be modified because this will be next week having, or the week after, 
The new quick release bolt system fitted from EK Archery and I'll be showing you on this sling bow, crossbow, on how to do that on the next the upcoming videos. Okay guys? So, I hope you like enjoyed this video. Click like, subscribe, um, visit, I look at my coffee page, you'll buy me a coffee. And um, yes, both of them are great pistols from Adarini. Joe Sprav has um, done a great job with the concept and um, Lukash done an excellent job designing them to 3D operation. Alex, my friend, done a great job printing them. And of course, I've assembled them for you guys to enjoy. I'll look at my coffee channel. They will be for sale on there. Um, and we will be doing in a couple of weeks uh, um, the quick release bowling system for your Cobra and um, Ankung Alligator OP360 Bay Desire XL quick release bow system for those. Okay, so I just want to watch out for. So, conclusion Adarini Singbow, I think that's perfect for close range, extreme close range. You know, you're living in a flat or something like that, and you want for self defense. Something if you've got a more open plan house, I think the, the crossbow version is better. If you've got more room again defending your garden, I'd go for something like the Steambow. And if you want to go flat out, I'd go for something like the, ooh, let's see, Center Point Sniper, um, Mankung XB52, which I got a video back and box it on that later, uh, earlier on. Sorry, guys. So, hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, him. Bye-bye.